What's going on guys? This is Britta here and I found a new website, kadi.tech. It's actually pretty cool. It has a bunch of free courses. So we're going to jump in here and I want to do a little practice on HTML. So we're going to do this HTML beginner site and let's get started. Welcome to the lesson environment. Learn a short lesson. Write your code here. When you're ready, run the code. Stuck, ask our AI machine for help. Get feedback on your executed code. Navigate between lessons. Check your progress and jump between lessons. View your code executions history. Still stuck, ask our team for help. Happy coding. So if any of you guys had any trouble with the HTML part of the Odin project, feel free to come here, test this out. We're gonna see how it works. In this course, you will create your own basic site for using HTML. To start, let's get familiar with the environment. In the code editor, enter the following. We're pretty familiar with this part. It's always good to get some more practice in. More practice never hurts. People like to say practice makes perfect. I like to say practice makes proficient. And HTML. All right, this will be the skeleton of everything. And between the body tag, you can write your code. When you are done, hit the run code button. Bonus, try typing anything between the body tag and you will see it appears on the web page. Uh, I don't think that's how that works. That's not how that should work. I mean, I guess it will work, but that's not what we like to do. We got to put that in a heading or a paragraph or something. All right. So we got an achievement. I don't know what it is. Uh, the start complete first code challenge successfully. All right. Continue heading. Let's add heading to the site heading headings are added with the H1 tag H2 H3 H4 H5 H6 add H1 tag with the text of your choice. So this is what we're going to do h1 tag slash h1 and run code success images are important are an important part of each website let's add one add an image to your site under the heading you can use any image you like or use this image uh, let's copy this and add this to source attribute of image source equals paste add the attribute width 300 pixels and there it is Last lesson, we added, added an image to our site. Now let's add a small description of what this picture is about. We will use the P tag. So let's go down, add a P tag. Under the image, add a P tag with a description about the image. This image is Cody's, I guess it's Cody's logo. At least I think that's what it is. Run code. Final thoughts, that's it. You've created a fully working website with heading, image, and description. It's only the beginning. The next steps is to style it, make it functional, and add more content. Uh, to conclude, play with your three elements, H1, image, and P, adjust them and their inner text. When you're ready to run the code and finish the course. All right, guys, we're done. Achievements unlocked. Nicely done, finished your first course and finished your first project. We're gonna close that and check out our profile here. It shows we completed a course. And I actually think I'm gonna keep doing these just to like refresh my own knowledge and refresh you guys' knowledge. It's been a while since I've updated some videos, but 
like I said, more practice never hurts. But I thank you guys for hanging out on this one, and I will see you on the next one. Goodbye.